it is Friday and we are headed to Epcot. It is about 8.45, they open up at nine. We are staying at the Beach Club, so we actually can walk into Epcot through the back way through the International Gateway, which we have never done before. We've exited that way, but we've never got in that way. So we are trying to find our way out over there now. So that was easy peasy, right through the gate. There are a few people lined up, but not a ton. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna make a run for Frozen because it's not very far. We are not. I think we are gonna go over to Soren because it's the only ride we don't have a fast pass for. We have a fast pass for Test Track and we are going to the Frozen Ever After dessert party, so we have a fast pass, or we go through the ride with that, so. Hello. It is 8.54 and they let us in. Okay, so it looks like they're letting us clockwise, and it, I think you can line up there to go counterclockwise if you want to go to Norway. But we are not going to Norway. We're going into the land pavilions, so we're going like through the UK. So my husband and I are just talking as we're walking through here, and all of our trips, never been to a park opening, any of the parks, ever just not our thing. And these are the people making the mad dash to Frozen. And we are going the other way. Okay, now we are going on Mission Space. We were going to do Soren, but then decided to do Test Track, but Test Track is broken, so the line is now like over an hour. So we thought, well, we were here, we would do this. I've never done this before, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> The fact that they give you like a warning thing kind of is frightening. We just finished the Mission to Space Flight Simulator, the green one, and it actually wasn't bad at all. It was, I don't even think as intense as like Star, Star Tours. Yeah, Star Tours. I kind of liked it. I would definitely do it again. I was afraid, so I've never been on it before, but I really enjoyed it. Now we are going to go over, we have breakfast reservation um, in about 20 minutes at the Garden Grill, and let's go. and we actually get to see the boat right down there. Hi, Dale. Garden Grill and I have to say it was the food was really good I really enjoyed it the character interactions were good I wouldn't say they were the best that we've had but they were good we got to meet Chip, Dale, Pluto and Mickey so we're gonna go downstairs and go on either Soaring and or the land as you board the boat please lower your head and watch your step Of all the forces at work on the land, 
humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world. Even the flower petals are edible. The starchy root of the plant and as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year. Help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. We're going to skip Soren. My son doesn't want to go on it, so we're going to skip it for now. And we're going to go to Journey into Imagination with Pigman. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the pigment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, hoochie hoochie go, and taste. <laughs> taste like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll.